Hi, I'm Angela V. Shelton, and this is my best friend. Hi, I'm Frances Callier, and we are Frangela. And welcome to Frangela's Idiot of the Week! Wee! Quick, 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 it's been a really dumb week, it and really I, I hope you're as excited as we are for the crowning tomorrow. But we want to get started and say thank you to everyone for sending us idiots at frangela.com mm -hmm. and, and Twitter and Facebook at Frangela Duo. In fact, our first nominee for today is from General Robert M. in yes. the Frangela's Army of the Anti-Dumb. Mm -hmm. I'll just I'll just say this is California. California finally getting a number two. Yes, we're so supposedly California is the crazy state. Uh, not according to the board. <laughs> not even close. Yeah. Apparently, um, three people. Yes, there's three, three idiots. Three young, it's a triad it's a, of stupid. It's a trio, a triad. They are the three musketeers of dumb. Mm -hmm. They apparently, uh, they're in jail in Southern California because uh, one night they went to Dooley's liquor store yeah. and stole some beer and ran out. Mm -hmm. Not a high tech crime. No, 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 no. I mean, you know what? It's a, it's a snatch and grab. It happens. It happens. And you, you know, know what I'm going to say? So far, you're not in the dumb pile. No, no, no. You're a criminal. It's wrong. But I'm not putting you in dumb for stealing beer. No, no, no. Did all three of you need to go in? Maybe no. not. No, no. <laughs> but then, <laughs> later on, 85 minutes later. 85 minutes, which is almost an hour and a half. Understand that that is an hour and 25 minutes. You're right. An hour and 25 minutes. Five minutes shy of an hour and a half. What did the dummies do? They, they returned back to get the surveillance video. If you think they are CSIing a case of beer, first of all, and, uh, and all three of them go back. Well, you know what? Because they were like, you know what? We need the video. And they were like, yeah, OK. But you don't the video. You didn't you just, just commit robbed. the crime of the century. This is my thing, too. You just robbed people. That means Do they've called the, the police. police. And given response times, an hour and a half, they may be there. Yes. Because they pulled the knife and they actually cut this clerk's arm. Yeah. They slashed his arm. So on an assault, they probably got there relatively quick. They're in the, literally, this is what happens. They walk up and they're like, so the man, what did he look? Oh, we look like that. Yes. Okay, they look like that. Yeah. Okay. You're idiots. I, I don't even know what to say. This next story is from... This is from Merle. Merle. Old time friend. Yes. From uh, the Week According to Frangela radio show. Thank you, Merle. Yeah. This is from Ciudad Juarez. We're Juarez. crossing the border into Mexico. In Mexico. We were talking yes. about earlier that Mexico hadn't made a showing. They are now. Yes. Police ticket uh, a six-year-old for reckless driving after toy motorcycle hits SUV. Now, I'm going to say some other things about this story that you're, I think it's gonna surprise you, Angela. Okay, All basically right. what happens, this is a six year old, he's driving his little toy mm -hmm. SUV, and I guess he ran into an SUV. Yes, his little motorcycle. I don't know how much damage it could have possibly done, mm -hmm. but the, the police came, they impounded the car, and they ticketed the kid, and it was something like $183 in fines. Right. Right, right, right. And um, to and it was fine to recover the toy motorbike. Now, this is a gas-powered motorbike, okay, for a six. six years old. That This is where I go, okay, you know what? Six-year-olds can't run. No, no. I, I, I have be, a close to six, a six-year-old. She's about to be six. About to be six. She barely, barely they, they, they always fall. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Gangly as hell. Most of them can't ride a bike. No. You're going to put them on a gas-powered vehicle? Thank you, Angela. First of all, why was he, in, was this in the street? Yes. Well, this is my problem, okay? SUVs are big. Did they, I mean, how are you going to tangle with that? Also, so I got that problem. This is my other problem. This isn't Juarez, um, Mexico. Don't you have bigger problems? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but yes. I've been looking at the news. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I, it's not the city where Touché. all the women are getting murdered yes. in Juarez. Touché, I think that's Angela. that city where literally, like, there's, like, four there's I think there's four, three women left. There's, like... Four known serial killers operating there. Uh, J Lo yes. did a movie about it. Yes. It's like, but you, you know, like, you know what? We need to get to the bottom of this. That kid yes. with the little really drug cartels are killing police officers. And you, and you know what the cops are doing? We're gonna stay away from those crimes. That's right. We're gonna pull it back, <laughs> and we're gonna deal with the crimes that are more in our range, like ticketing six year olds. <laughs> Idiots. And last oh, story. This. Is amazing. Yeah. I when we saw this story, this is California, mm -hmm. number three, breaking through. Burbank, girl. Police in California, Burbank, California, say that a woman <laughs> was accused of offering McDonald's customers sexual favors for exchange for chicken McNuggets. Do you know, <laughs> Khadija Basir, <laughs> which Khadija or Khadija. any of Khadija's people, if you're watching. Help Khadija. Help Khadija. Help Khadija. You've got to value your monkey more than a McNugget. <laughs> I mean, make sure to at least get a meal, a uh, couple different sauces, or something. The 20 piece, too. Please don't piece. let this be that little four, four piece. piece. 
No, no. The, the problem, I have so many problems. First of all, oh, oh cracklicious. Fantastic. <laughs> Crack soaked in heroin <laughs> and brewed in whiskey. Uh, McNuggets, pussy for McNuggets, mm -hmm. that's the equation. Now. That's see the problem with that is that devalues all of our money. Everybody, when you when you set the bar to McNuggets, that means the rest of us. Now I when I go on my match or eHarmony date, he don't want to buy me a Happy Meal, right? Because he can just get that. He can get get knock it with boots with you, yes, for some McNuggets. I mean, you know, at least if you make it like a a, a gyro, oh, make maybe it like Greek. a McRib or oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, big and tasty, they don't make big and tasty no more. I know that was her Very babe. sad. I just or Angus Burger. That's the reason we put this in is this was actually a joke we did. Yes, years. For years, years in our stand-up about how the economy has been so bad that McNuggets, and then it happens. Equals pussy, yeah, I just. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow when we crown the idiot of the week, but I feel that the decision is gonna weigh heavy. Yeah, it is, it is. Please let us know what you think at Frangela.com or at Twitter at Facebook at Frangela Duo. We're Frangela. And thank you for watching Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week. Crow? Yes. <laughs>